What's up YouTube, it's me Jess and I'm an opera singer. Today's sponsored video is going to be a performance analysis on Mr. Al Jarreau and Michelle Petrucciani singing Mas Que Nada. Let's go. Oh. and how much energy that takes you all. That takes an immense amount of energy, not only to just start off and be able to keep it going, but to stay in the moment, to progress and give some sort of a journey through all of this. That's an incredible amount of energy, an incredible amount of good foundational support that he has. You know, this is gonna be a, maybe a weird comparison but him doing all that he was doing, I'm talking about um, Mr. Al Jarreau, kind of reminds me of um, Busta Rhymes, the rapper. You guys are gonna think, where is this going? But no, really, when you listen to the intricacies of, of Busta Rhymes' phrases and his flow, it's wildly good. Every time I come a nigga gotta sit it, then I gotta go in, then I gotta get it, then I gotta blow it, then I gotta show that every little thing a nigga did be doing, cause it doesn't matter, cause I'm gonna let it, 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 it's one of those skills and techniques where you, it's, you have to master it before you really can get it out. It's one of those moments where once you start, there's no room for error. It's it's like you you mess up once and it almost seems like it would all get derailed. He got it from the start and he was in the zone from the start, so much so to where he did not miss a beat. And Mr. Michel, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Michel Petrucciani is keeping up. I love the repeated notes he was doing in his right hand. Just the vibe. Pausing. 
we're just pausing here. Okay, this is so interesting. The amount of, I don't wanna say manipulation as if it's a bad thing. This is not a bad thing at all. This actually happens a lot in, let's say, just jazz uh, vocalists, right? If you're a jazz vocalist and you kind of um, have the the ability to manipulate your mouth and your lips in certain ways to get out a certain type of vowel and a certain tone. And he's doing not only that, but also kind of exaggerating some of his breaths to just add some sort of interesting dynamic to the overall sound. This is all just very interesting, lots going on, and your ear is trying to grasp everything that's going on, and it's just kind of like popcorn, you know what I mean? So he's got a good amount of vocal varieties that's making the sound, his vocal part, very interesting. And it's it's a cool added effect too, because it's going with the propelling motion of this song. The song just kind of has this tendency of going forward and forward and forward and forward until you almost are waiting for some sort of a small release or just it's just going to go forward all the way up until the end. I have no idea. But some of his vocal techniques that he's doing too is there was a, a couple of points where like he took in a very um, gasping amount of air. It was like <gasps> right before a phrase. And then right at the end of this clip, he let out an extreme amount of air. <laughs> Another vocal thing you can do with your, with your mouth cavity that just adds this interesting layer to the overall sound. He's also, um, like I had mentioned before, manipulating his mouth in extreme ways to get out certain types of vowels. And at the ends of some of his phrases, he's putting a good amount of nasality in his vowels. <laughs> just adds another layer to the overall sound. He was kind of manipulating his mouth in an exaggerated way for an old vowel, I believe, and it just kind of has this nice open roundedness with almost an O-shaped lip. Oh, that's gonna give a different type of tone quality to the overall vowel because you're you're changing your mouth cavity, which also helps with the way that the resonators are gonna work to get out a certain sound. Very, very efficient, let's say, in this jazz style. But there's a phrase, I'm gonna go back, where he was really putting an emphasis, an overemphasis on some of the vowels. And I don't know if those words have an accent on those words. We'll see, let's go back. See that? You say your body day. I don't know what the words are, but you hear that kind of forward drive up into some of the vowels of certain words that just kind of gives an emphasis on those particular words, which also helps lend to the intricacy of the rhythm of the overall sound. It's just ah, oh, it's just so interesting in my brain is trying to catch all of these little things going on but there's too there's too much going on but it's super exciting <laughs> Another quick pause here. I have to commend Mr. Michel Petrucciani on his playing. His piano playing, the way that I'm looking at his hands, he just makes it look so easy. And his hands really do look pretty light. Like he is able to just bounce around all over the keyboard. It looks like a huge, a huge piano easily moving from one end of the piano up into the next and he's able to do that by keeping his hands super super light and flexible and almost airy that's when you can play like that you you know you've got it in the bag so I have to commend him on that did you 
Did you feel a sort of tension when he kept playing those repeated notes? <laughs> of gives you this forward drive of okay what's gonna happen next when are these repeated notes gonna end what's gonna happen when they end Ugh. i also have to commend mr michel on the way that he is looking at the vocalist <laughs> wondering if this is improvised if what he is playing is all improvised meaning it's being made up on the spot the reason why i'm asking that is because of how much he's looking at the vocalist yes that is great to do just in general to you know make sure that everything is going according to plan everything's on rhythm you're moving with the vocalist you're slowing down with the vocalist blah 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 but the intense look he's giving at the vocalist mr algero is something i really appreciate it tells me it shows me that he's listening and paying attention to his body movements maybe his breaths his inhalations his exhalations when the next phrase is going to start he seems very in tune with him and as a result mr algero seems very in tune and very intrigued by the energy that uh, mr michelle is giving it's a f this is a picture perfect image of what collaboration looks like. That is something that seems to be coming very organically with the two of them. <laughs> moment in this video where a beat was missed let me know down in the comment section if you find that moment i don't think it exists at all in this moment this this idea of excess lots of lots of sounds lots of manipulation with the mouth lots of vowels lots of consonances um lots of air breathing in different types of breathing uh techniques going on what also adds to this was the camera work. The cameraman, whoever edited this, do you notice how much it was just cutting from scene to scene to scene? That kind of adds to this intense forward drive that this overall song has. This performance was everything. I love this performance. I had no idea what they were saying, but the musicality, the musicianship, and the collaboration of it all was 
top notch. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and I dare anyone to comment down below if they think a beat was missed in this performance. If you're interested in enhancing your singing journey and taking a lesson with me, I'll put my booking link right here. If you'd like to keep in touch with me, I'll leave my Discord link down below as well as my Patreon. My Patreon only starts at $3 a month and I have some very exclusive perks just for you patrons. I've started a new channel called Jessica Sijen McKenzie. On this new channel, I upload videos of vlogging, self-worth, travel, lifestyle, and health. I hope to see you on this journey with me. And lastly, if you'd like to sponsor a video just like this, check my link down below under sponsor a video. That link will take you directly to my webpage where we will go through the process of getting your favorite artist out on my channel quickly. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.